The North Sea between the United Kingdom and mainland Europe is one of the most inhospitable places to work on the planet. Myself and my colleagues who work in the offshore oil and gas industry regularly have to contend with huge waves, sometimes as high as 20 meters. And some of these have been caught on camera. So sit back, watch and relax, and be grateful you don't have to work here too. The first clip is of the Borkholm Dolphin Flotel, operated by Dolphin Drilling. Here is another Flotel battling against the hostile environment, the Safe Caledonia operated by ProSafe. A Flotel is a floating semi-submersible accommodation unit that goes from platform to platform to provide accommodation for workers working on the oil rigs. However, in bad weather, the Flotel disconnects from the main platform and just has to ride out the storm until it passes. This is the Dunbar fixed jacket installation operated by the oil company Total. The platform sits in 145 meters of water and usually there's a 21 meter air gap between the normal sea level and the bottom of the top sides. So the fact that these waves are hitting the underside of the platform here means the waves must be at least that high. This is another clip of more waves hitting the Dunbar platform. The footage has been taken from a flotel that's had to move away from the platform due to the bad weather. Again, the waves are hitting the bottom of the top side, so the waves here must be at least 21 meters high. It's not just oil platforms that have to cope with the wild North Sea weather. Support vessels are just as exposed. Although I think the Scottish crew on board this vessel might be enjoying the frills a little bit too much. <laughs> That's fucking awesome! <laughs> Just got it! 20 seconds to go! That's fucking awesome! <laughs> Get the fuck in! <coughs> Happy with that! <laughs> no way Amy's watching this, she'll go mental! <laughs> The next clip is yet another Flotel, the Flotel Superior, operated by the Swedish company Flotel International. This next clip is on board the Hummingbird Floating Production Storage and Offloading Installation, or FPSO for short. This is footage of the Osberg A platform, operated by Statoil in Norway at the time of this clip, but they've now been renamed Equinor. Oh, look at that wave coming now. Oh, it's 20 meters. Oh, see that? Bloody hell. And here is more footage of the Osberg A. Smaller waves this time, but it shows the concrete gravity based structure which supports the platform in a water depth of 109 meters. Because it looks so dramatic as the last time, we are breaking the waves since it's coming through to us. Our next clip is taken from the bridge of the West Navigator drill ship, operated by Sea Drill. 
A drill ship is a ship-shaped mobile offshore drilling unit. And here we have yet another flotel battling the elements. This time the COSL rival flotel, standing off a fixed installation to ride out the storm. What you are looking at here is the moon pool on a drilling rig. The moon pool is an opening in the centre of the rig which the drilling riser passes through to allow drilling into the seabed. This is the Ninian North installation, operated by CNR, and I was on this platform when this footage was taken. Shortly after this clip, the workers were confined to living quarters for their own safety, and the waves got even bigger. Scary stuff, especially when what feels like a massive, safe structure starts to move around alarmingly when the waves hit it. This is another FPSO, heading valiantly into the hostile weather. Our final clip brings us full circle and features the Borkham Dolphin Flotel again, this time standing off of BP's Andrew installation, sitting in a water depth of 116 metres. And that concludes our thrilling journey through some of the planet's wildest weather. And spare a thought for the workers who have to live and work in this environment. If you've enjoyed what you've watched, please hit those like and subscribe buttons and let me know what else you would like me to cover in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.